The news came to Partia shortly after the fighting was done. Tem and I and I had fallen. Another casualty of a great war for a great cause. At times, he could not help but feel a degree of disdain for the position he found himself in. It was his own doing, of course. Easy as it might be to blame the nobles who call for war or the sense of so-called duty to the people of Calradia. It was his own decision to enter the service of Unkid and to allow himself to know and care. Oh, if he just stayed a humble merchant, the comings and goings of tyrants wouldn't matter. What is one king for another for the peasant? Life is always service. Artia understands now why they say ignorance is bliss. So, as he says farewell to another young hero who saw eye to eye with him, Artia cannot help but think upon Iron Eye's short time by his side, and another old saying. Something, they say, about an eye or an eye. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another chapter of the adventures of Partia Al Eat in Bannerlord. The want for vengeance is not an easy thing to keep in check. Partia knows this. Where he stands, he sees two options at the horizon. One, an aggressive push into enemy territory, and the other, pulling back into safety. A display of patience to better attack the enemy from a more advantageous position. This is the thinnest our hero has seen his patience grow, and had it not been for the missives from his council, Partia would undoubtedly charge forward into the fight. But no. Patience is a virtue, and to strike now would be the actions of a young fool, not a wise sultan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. Indeed, we must be the wise sultan, isn't it so? Isn't that the truth? And so we march down south towards Ortizia, rather than aggressively towards Legeta. At Varen Castle, we've been turned away, and the concern is that the same might happen up at Maranoth, perhaps as well, maybe even at Remtoil. Our relations with some of these uh, noble houses of the Batanians, if they can be called noble or even houses, um, have been a little... Uh, Maybe precariously balanced. Maybe they don't like us so much. I don't think it's worth taking the chance traveling up north. I've seen a lot of the conversation and a lot of the back and forth in the comments of the previous episode. A lot of interesting thinking going on, and I love, I love reading through it all. So again, thank you all for, uh, for that sort of, uh, additional layer to the story that we're building here together. Uh, but there was a lot of back and forth, and, and there was a lot of decision making, and I think the right call would in fact be, as much as I would love to go charging into Legeta, I think we should go down south to Artizia, uh, pick up some more soldiers, not just for ourselves, but also for the others that are in our uh, army as well. Uh, on the way down south, we should be able to hit up uh, Golarin, perhaps even Thraktore Castle, Thraktore, uh, Gamardan, kind of make our loop down this way over to Artizia, uh, and then push across and strike at Jelmaris instead. Striking at Legeta makes sense because that way, you know, uh, Kalatil's army down over here and our army up over here, we could work uh, work together apart, so to speak. Uh, but I think the reality is, and again, as many of you pointed out, I often give too much credit to the AI. But as many of you pointed out, uh, should Kalatil's army, you know, fall apart because of a lack of cohesion or food or what have you, uh, if I'm all the way up over here, I'm out of position in terms of providing assistance. But if I'm at Jilmaris, I might actually be able to help and prevent people from being picked off and individually, you know, destroyed. There's no other way to put it. Uh, a, a fairly large army is marching with uh, with Calatild. 650 um, soldiers right now. The expectation, uh, in fact, I think, have they not all assembled already? It still says they're gathering. And it's like, have you not assembled yet? Where is everybody? Make some moves. But anyway, that aside, their cohesion is already at 65%. Uh, percent, so, you know. Even if they get a siege going, it might fall apart before they're able to complete it. So it's probably a good idea for me to be nearby. But before they do that, before they start, you know, getting aggressive, I need to make my moves over here. So let's go ahead and leave Varen Castle behind and make our way down south. Like I said, hitting up some of these towns en route to pick up some recruits, not just for us, but also for uh, the others in our army. Uh, one thing to touch on is going all the way back to Charas is probably too risky. Uh, I was contemplating doing that since we're pulling down anyway. I was thinking, why don't we just go back to Charas? Charas is a little too far away. The higher tier troops would be worth it, but the 
the journey might uh, slow us down a little bit too much. And that's not impatience. That's just the need for uh, being at the front. Can you imagine had that army slipped by us last session? Lanakhen Castle would certainly have fallen. We would, If we were still down over here somewhere, we would not have been able to respond. If we were down over here or down over here, we might have been too slow to respond and Lanakhen Castle would have fallen. So we have to keep that in mind as well. We can't be too far away from the front because that will ultimately will, it'll cost us. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say again, folks, if you've been enjoying the series, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving those likes and comments down below. Again, the number of likes and comments really does help me make decisions as to like what I should keep doing on the channel, what I should slow down, what I should abandon, that kind of stuff. I don't like abandoning things. It's a strong word. Shouldn't have used it. But uh, what I should leave behind or, or bring to its conclusion, so to speak. So keep those uh, likes and comments coming through. Uh, I do read through all the comments as well. Again, as I said, like they, they bring this extra layer of interaction, uh, this extra layer of influence, I suppose. Again, like if it was quote unquote entirely up to me, so to speak, air quotes that you can't see, but I'm, I'm calling them out. Ooh, hello. Hold on a second. Okay, someone escaped from me, from my party. That's okay, but uh, what is this? Vip, Vipon, Vipon of the Western Empire escapes, but Apis of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner by Aldhan of the Ishkas. Good stuff. Good stuff, Aldhan. Uh, Unkido, there's so many notifications all at the same time. Unkido also went to war against the Western Empire. I mean, I don't know how much success they're hoping to see, but they are, uh, I mean, they are starting to reestablish themselves up north over here. They're, you know, they're not joking around, and I gotta give them kudos for that. They are Asurai, after all. We are known to be resilient. We survived and thrived in the desert for so long. What can stop the Asurai, right? Nothing. Only only other Asurai. So there's a, there's a bit of pride in seeing Ungid still survive and seeing this flag still, you know, proudly fly. But of course, it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a small silver lining of pride... Uh, on this very dark gray cloud of uh, Unki needs to go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, you know, before I got interrupted by those notifications, um, I personally enjoy it. If it was entirely up to me, I probably would have gone towards Legeta and let uh, let more people join my forces and whatnot, and that would have been, I'm sure that would have been fine. Uh, but this is also, you know, this makes it, it, again, it adds a layer. It makes the conversation more compelling. It changes my approach a little bit. Uh, obviously, from time to time, as you guys have seen, uh, I will stick to my initial plan or whatnot for whatever reason because I feel like it makes sense because of X, Y, Z. Uh, but from time to time, y'all will introduce an angle that maybe I haven't considered or I haven't thought about. And I love having that opportunity to like see your back and forth in the comments and integrate it with my thinking uh, and uh, and you know mold the story together, as it were. Now, Thraktory Castle has been relatively safe for the longest time. And what I actually should have done before I popped open the screen is taken a look at its number of defenders. 414 militia. The garrison is actually suffering losses because of the current food situation. Now, we can't help the food situation, unfortunately, at a castle. But hopefully, uh, I'm actually surprised that it's suffering from starvation. Like, our war with... The Western Empire should not be causing this much trouble over here. Nonetheless, it is. I'm going to go ahead and say that picking up the garrison over here is probably not a bad idea. Again, 414 militia. I think we pick everybody up here. Manage garrison. Sorry, one more thing that I should check. I, I wish that screen included these details. What have I got over here? Okay, that's not right. That can't be right. It's not possible that I only have 39 infantry. The wounds are not counting properly. Right? It's got to be. There's all our infantry. 11. Plus another 5. That's 15. Wait, yeah. 15. Maybe I do only have that many. 24. 25. 32, is it? 32. 39. No, we've got... We can't. It's not that few. It's not that few. There's a couple of them that are spread around a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah, as you can see. Things get messy. Yeah, it's not that few. I, I think I still need more mercenaries, though. Or not more mercenaries. Sorry, more infantry, though. All right, let's go ahead and manage garrison here. Uh, what do we have? Asurai veteran infantry. Yes, please. I'm putting a lot of faith in the militia over here. A lot of faith in the militia over here. Imperial legionaries. Don't mind if I do. Jose Darkan. Yes, please. 
Yeah, these are soldiers that we haven't picked up or seen in a long time. Morphian champions, a sharpshooter over here. Seeing some interesting um, discourse about the uh, the sharpshooters as well in terms of their uh, firing rate versus their uh, their reload time and like who's actually more valuable. Top right corner, almost always, I see a lot of Valandian sharpshooters uh, getting the kills, but obviously that might be partially because we have so many Valandian sharpshooters, right? Uh, it's an interesting, interesting conversation. I keep seeing the back and forth and I keep trying to like figure out like, okay, where do we, where do we sit as far as that conversation is concerned? Well, that's good. We'll, we'll leave 50 people behind over here. I still have room for some. And again, we will spread some out uh, among our uh, other parties too, though they will be picking up recruits themselves as well. More palace guard. Sure. One more to pick up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and pick ourselves the, let's go ahead and get the, that's right, infantry. Sure, why not? Sure. We have one more spot, but brought this down to 50, a nice kind of round number. Um, now what I could do, I, I, I want to check first the situation here. All right, cool. It's stable. If this was still negative, then I would have taken more people out and given them to somebody else. But because it's stable, we'll leave those 50 there. And let's go ahead and head on down south over here further. And again, hopefully others will pick up some more recruits at like Gamardan and whatnot. There's been a lot of raiding going on here as well. Obviously, the Western Emperor, Western Empire, sorry, has been sending people in to harass our uh, our townspeople, our peasants, and whatnot. So that'll obviously hurt us. There's Aldhan. We're marching right by him. It might not be a bad idea to scoop him up right now. He's been getting some work done again. He's the one who's got the prisoner, right? So he has been getting some work done. Um, bring him with us. Sure, let's do it. And what is Kalatil doing up over here? Where are you going? Going to a point. They're still gathering, perhaps? A little unfortunate. A little unfortunate. Let's go. Hurry on up. Peric of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by Turiados of the Western Empire. Good. Where? This army is still together. It's not good at all. Every party that gets taken out is, uh, is like a hundred less soldiers that we have, right? Hey, everyone's picking up recruits here. Good stuff. We're at 600 plus another 300 wounded. We're at about 900, so that's a good number. It's a solid number. Continue on to Garantor. I wonder if we go down to Garantor Castle as well. Relations with Varos decrease. There's Milosh over here. Which Milosh are you? Oh, there's no point doing this. Let's go ahead and just speak to him. I don't think we can. I think he's going to get away. Three versus his 2.9, but his 2.9 is only because of his disorganization. That will surely be gone soon. Pick up the recruits over here. We can continue the chase. We might be able to catch him at night time because, again, Alia's scouting capabilities uh, make us faster than most. Ah, oh, Sven's chasing him, though. Sven. If Sven closes the gap down, then I'm going to have to uh, help because I don't think he has the numbers to, to take this fight on himself. Here's what we'll do. We can go ahead and call Sven in. Maybe he'll turn around and join us. Nope, he'll fight. All right, so we have to join in there because we'll take too many losses there. We can't afford the risk factor. Uh, won't be a problem, but let's go ahead and take a look at our party. You guys have leveled up. You've leveled up as well. I will, by the way, be getting rid of some of the looters that I have as prisoners. Um, where where are they? Yeah, we got 22 looters as prisoners. Maybe a little bit of overkill. I think y'all are right. Maybe just 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 just, just a little bit of overkill there. Uh, we'll drop them off somewhere. But for now, we need to uh, get involved over here, right? Yeah. Do it. I believe I'm properly equipped. Let's go. Hurry it up. Come on now. The double click lately has just not been as smooth for me. I don't know why. Alatild, what are you traveling to Ortizia now? Picking up recruits from Ortizia, maybe? I mean, at this rate, their cohesion is going to fall apart before they do anything. They're at 56. They're not going to get anything done. Come on now. We still have parties out there available for. Uh, Oh my god, Lek over here, 247, yikes. We still have parties out there that are available for recruiting, so she can bolster her numbers right up to 800, 900 or so. So there's no uh, quote-unquote excuse. Y'all were so excited for the war. Go do something. Let's help Sven's party over here. I don't think we have to fight this one. Just worry about our losses, you know? Let's, let's fight this one. I think, I feel like I need a little bit of warming up. I feel like I need a little bit of, just like course correcting after that last battle. Now again, that last battle wasn't my best exhibition, I suppose. 
Uh, but we did, we were up against some very high tier uh, enemy soldiers. And I feel like, uh, as one of you put it, uh, if, if I, I'm... I might be paraphrasing, but I think I remember it correctly. Uh, we've basically eliminated the uh, Imperial Guard, as it were. Their, uh, their their main force seems to have been taken care of. And hopefully all that's left will be quickly eliminated uh, moving forward. You know, uh, it'll just be peasant bands and, and low-tier recruits and things like that. I don't think these guys are going to get too aggressive. They know that I have the upper hand over here. So we're going to try and, again, practice some of our cavalry uh, commands and leadership and whatnot. Get our horses up over here. Get our horse archers up over here. And I'm going to try and knock this guy off his horse nice and early. That must be a noble, right? Looks like he's all on his own. This will be good for us if it is a noble and we do get this hit in. We go off your horse. I run back to his lines, I think. I don't think so. Not a noble. Imperial heavy horseman. Not anymore though. Down you go. Beautiful. Try to stab me. The man there. You can see the anger with this axe. A little bit of hit on the uh, horse over there. Look at those horse archers off in the distance. Even their distance, watching their sultan fight. Gotta, gotta work that bloodthirst off somehow, right? I'll look at the circle formation. Keep our distance there. They do have some range, right? Yeah, a little bit. Our archers are firing away. Horse or on foot, not 100% sure. Someone's firing away. This is too small an army to actually concern us, though. Ow. <laughs> Eat a hit as I say that. Alright, let's see. One thing I want to get better at is uh, commanding soldiers while also being engaged in battle. Infantry. Infantry move up here. Archers move up here. We have a decent bit of high ground over here from where we can definitely, definitely shower the enemy with our arrows. This has got to be in range. Forward. Let's go. These guys and their foolish last stand. Maybe we just allow our soldiers to train a little bit. That's really the primary reason for any of this, isn't it? Will they have clear shots, though? Infantry move up. Archers are firing. Yeah, excellent. There we go. So many arrows in such a concentrated area as well. Come on, charge me, man. Charge me. Okay, these guys are switching their formation here. Maybe they're going to start moving forward. There we go. Horseman is still at the back there. Infantry are more than ready. Archers are still firing away. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. You can see those Valanian sharpshooters getting the kills. In. But, but again, like, it's decently spread out. But the Valanian sharpshooter name seems to come up most often. We're okay, I need to stop allowing myself to eat these hits. Buddy. Throwing your javelins at me. Lost an Imperial recruit. We're okay. Put them in. Charge. Go in, get some training done. Loop around the other way. Where, where is their rider? Where is their rider? I have a question for you. To ask you a question. To ask you a question. Oh. You gotta... Oh my god, how, how did that guy not die? I must have hit him with a shaft. Also, do I have a javelin, like, stuck in my... Oh my... I, oh, that hurts to look at. I have a javelin stuck in my elbow? Look at that. It's horrifying. Oh, the immense amount of pain. <laughs> That's terrifying to look at. Um, that explains why I was missing. Yes, of course, nothing to do with my own inaccuracy there. Gonna drop that guy? Two of them. Go for it, buddy. Yeah, 15 leveled up. That's not too bad. I'm not gonna look through the entire list over here. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to wait until those two die. We're fine. Go ahead and grab you as a prisoner, perhaps. I was hoping to have a conversation. Milos. Nah, he's a nobody. Though I could work at improving my relations with these guys. Maybe I'll let him go. Maybe I'll let him go. You fought well, you're free to go. Might work out. If I can convince some of these guys to join us, it would be fantastic. Ooh, militia we can pick up and drop off somewhere. We didn't take any losses, did we? 
We have room for two soldiers. Not two soldiers, one soldier. I'll pick up the militia. Archer, sure, why not? 26 prisoners, any here worth taking? Uh, train warriors. Woodrunners, no. Skirmishers, no. If I'm going to pick up battalions, I want to pick up fan champions. Well, people who will eventually become fan champions. Uh, we'll get the Imperial Veteran Infantryman and the Trained Infantryman as well. Again, those are all just prisoners. I think that's a decent call. Everybody else can take a hike. Literally, just, you know, go for a walk. Enjoy the coastal sights. We've got a couple of people upgrading over here as well. Good stuff. Uh, Sturgeon Soldiers. Or Sea Raider Warriors. Sea Raider Warriors. Get those Drusnik champions. Landing cavalry as well. But finally, another sergeant. Need more infantry. <laughs> need more infantry. Done here? Yeah, done here. These guys are fine. I don't care. We don't need militia spearmen. That's fine. Our our defenses here are okay. The the trouble of organizing things is uh, I don't think worth worth it, so to speak. I, I forgot also that I was over capacity. Uh, so when we actually get to uh, Ortizia, we should definitely visit the market and dump some of our junk. But for now, might as well just pick everything up. For now, might as well just pick everything up and over to Ortizia we go. So then over here, I think I'll... Hmm. I'm tempted to leave him be. I'm tempted to say, you know, just do your own thing. Yeah, do your own thing, buddy. Keep recruiting, you know, get those numbers up. Uh, maybe help make some of these garrisons stronger or something like that. Chase after raiders. I don't. Another hundred soldiers in our army isn't going to make that much of a difference. Whereas having him separately going around, getting some work done, that might actually make a difference. Uh, Katagan of the Wolfskins, are you worth speaking to? You are. Oh, okay. Look, looks like he's going towards Ortizia. We can we can take a bit of a detour in case he chooses not to trolling around Ortizia. Listen, I'm coming to speak to you, buddy. I've got an interesting proposition that I think you would like. But lots of battalions here being taken prisoner by the Quisate. Good stuff. Where are you going? Stop running away from me. Stop running away from me. I don't want him to get away. But if I turn for Ortizia, that's exactly what's going to happen. En route. He's, again, he's not afraid of me. He's not running from me specifically. But, you know, the further he gets away from me, the harder it'll be for me to speak to him, obviously. Um, because I'm not going to be able to reach him to speak to him. Funny how that works. Tavern District, okay. Uh, choose prisoners to be ransomed. Go ahead and dump our looters off. We'll we'll have more all in due time. We'll have more. Uh, any Tier 5s over here? No Tier 5s. We're good. Okay, cool. Get whatever money we can. It's more about the speed, I suppose. Uh, we can also take a look at trade opportunities here. I doubt they have all that much money. 29k, fair enough. We're not going to be able to sell off any of our merchants' blades. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. Uh, can we sell any of our banes? No, I don't think so either. They're, in fact, they're more expensive. I don't even know why I'm checking. I know they're more expensive. But our armor, though, again, I wish weight was a thing, but it's not. Hopefully, be able to dump enough armor to go back under our limit. Now, again, being over our, our capacity is actually not hurting us that much. So... That's good, I suppose at least. But I, I still would rather not be traveling around with this much junk in our collective trunks. If we can keep it clean, as we've learned, you know, if we can keep it clean, then uh, it feels like less of a hassle when the time comes. Good, we're good, man. There's a lot of stuff. We, we were doing a lot of uh, fighting lately. Okay, dun, dun, dun. All junk. Crowned helmet, we might be able to trade with somebody to you know buy their allegiance at one point or something. Keeping those things around. Still some money left over here. Close to our limit. Can I sell them any things? Like any 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 goods here? And why is everything? It's been a while since I've seen something be above average price. It's been a long while. Alright, go ahead and dump some, oh my god, shields. That should help. These things are pretty heavy. Go. Dump more shields. Good stuff. Watch this, we can go ahead and dump you, dump you. 
simple javelins we don't need. Go well over our limit. Dump a bunch of these, dump these splintered arrows as well. Uh, in there. Okay. Okay, do I maybe buy back some of those arrows? Yeah, sure. And I'll have to sell the remainder of, of the goods that are taking me over my limit elsewhere. It's fine, it's not that bad, and again, it's not slowing us down that much, I suppose, but it's just funny uh, to be in this situation. I can obviously also just buy another, like, Sumter horse, or I have to actually buy quite a few to match the number. But I will buy some Sturgeon Hunters, some Volandian Coursers, uh, because having more war horses is not a bad idea, and that will allow me to dump some more junk. Go ahead and leave behind what? You can all be dropped off. I believe. Yes, we're good. There we go. That's all the junk cleared out. Still a little over our limit. 213% cheaper than average. Can you believe it? How? Why? Oh, steel we can sell, but I use steel. Not in that quantity, but, you know, all the things that I like to use are, uh, gonna net me a good profit of course average price but i'm getting more than i spent for it is what this means right so go ahead and dump at least some of the stuff off what else wool i suppose i can dump some wool off there we go cool just whatever we can get rid of really and that's fine by me can't carry anything else down here down here Good stuff. We've taken care of recruiting. These guys have recruited from the crowd, so that's good. There's no one else left to recruit. I'm maxed out. Uh, I could, of course, take a look at the garrison. From the garrison, I could pick some people up over here. Hold on a second. Before I look at the garrison of 132, I should look at the militia of 310. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to take too many away from here. If I do, I would probably give them to uh, Arwa and Najin, right? Ottawa, who has a hundred and what twelve, and Najin, who has seventy eighty six. All right, let's see. Let's see some Asteri footmen, perhaps. All pretty low tier, aren't they? Got some Triarii. All right, first of all, Battalion mounted skirmisher, you don't need to be here. Canyon trained spearmen. Veteran Foxman. Got some Mama Palace Guard. Bulger. If that's how that's said. Veteran Infantry. Alright, good stuff. Chosen Wolf. And Trained Infantrymen. We can also get these Asurai Footmen and Tribesmen after all. Uh, what else, what else, what else? What else? Yeah, sure, the Triarii. Leave 110 soldiers behind. Down here. Over to Ottawa first. Talk to party leader. I await your orders. Let me inspect your troops, please. Now let's go ahead and drop off some of these people. How many do we need to get rid of? Uh, that's 330, 340, right? Yeah. About 30. Let's 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 start and then we'll 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 because we know there's a bunch of stuff down here that's new that we don't want to keep a hold of. Drop you guys off. You as well, give you some cavalry. Real militia archer, I should have left this guy's garrison. Um that's right, infantry, sure. Or veteran infantry, do I want to keep you actually? I'm trying to find the spread as well. 125 soldiers for her now. Why can't I? Weird. Oh, the offset is very weird. 250 plus 77 is 327. So I've got to get rid of 9. I can give I can give them all to Ottawa, and then Najin can go pick people up elsewhere. That is obviously an option. Give you some Imperial Infantrymen. Give you some Landian Vulgars as well. 
Sure. Go ahead and get you some of these palace guards and some veteran infantry. 317. Sure. Done. I'm gonna sleep now. I don't speak to Najin here, of course. Why would I be able to? It's weird that it does that. I think it's a part of the faster loading into conversation thing. I don't want to reduce the garrison here any further because I fear that uh, they can very easily and readily attack Ortizia from Jelmaris or even from Legeta, you know? Like, it's a little too exposed. I don't want to reduce its numbers too significantly. 420 defenders uh, is about as low as I think I'm comfortable going. 400 is the bar, but, it, you know, that's the most marginal of differences. And again, we're marching with, what, 2,000... Like, 1,100 strong plus, right, over that. So, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Go ahead and leave. Make our way over to... I mean, I don't know what Calatilt's doing over here. So let's make our way over to Katagan over here. Some more mercenaries could go a long way. Ooh, Koreados. Oh, is that why Calatil's army is coming down this way? Ah, oh, damn it, he is worth speaking to. But I'll never be able to catch him. Ooh, Saranor over here as well. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go down, buddy. There we go, come back. That's right. Excellent. Two armies just marching side by side. Katagan of the Wolfskin says, Partia, it's been a while. It has indeed. There is something I'd like to discuss. I'd like you to serve al eat as mercenary. Yep, that is fair. Join us. Beautiful. I'm not going to have them joining my army. I don't need that. I need them to go around taking care of raiders and things like that. I must leave now. Do your thing. I will march onwards. I mean, I don't know. This army might fall apart pretty soon, but I'm not going to be able to chase any of those guys that were you know, pushing into our lands. These parties, if they do fall apart, uh, they will hopefully be large enough to take care of, um, to take care of those roving bands, right? So we will actually continue on towards Jelmaris and hope that Calatild will be, uh, sort of, uh, I suppose inspired by our aggression and, and, and reflect it herself. Uh, on our way over though, I wouldn't mind going to Arpatis. It has been suggested that I go all the way down to Aristocorus Castle to pick up some of the, um, some of the, uh, the the garrison from there as well, but I feel like that might be. I, I think that's unnecessary. I, I don't think we need that. I think we're we're fine without that. Now, what's happening on this front? Man, it's so weird looking back at this training field. It's so weird that the Asari would end up. Wasn't like Heron like the first city we went to or something? It's such a strange. It's been such a strange journey. Over to our Potis. Let's go. Pick up some recruits. Yeah, excellent. That's the other thing as well. It's like we don't have to pick it. Like, a lot of those recruits are obviously lower tier, which is why we picked up folks from the garrisons to counteract that low tier sort of filler in our army. Um, but it, it's it's okay. It's okay to have a little bit of that quote-unquote filler. Calatild raiding Thersenion. Not what I need you to do. Not what I need you to do at all. Go ahead and put Legeta under siege or something. Serratus over here. He's not going to wait for me to come speak to him. You guys are all running around. Ooh, that's a bunch of battalions being taken prisoner by Siga of the Kuzate. This fighting that's going on right now is wild. We actually overpower the battalions. We could go to war with them, and there is some support for it. We actually outnumber them right now. The Kuzate only marginally outnumber us. We've, we checked them quite well, and this war between the Batanians and the Kuzate has been an interesting development constantly. The Asrai, still can't believe they exist, Southern Empire, Valandia, Northern Empire, all paying us tributes. Look at that, we've actually received a good bit of tribute from the Valandians. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Down to Jilmaris. I'm not going to be able to catch these guys. I'm not going to be able to catch them, so that's, that's fine. Relations decrease with Varos. By the way, it's been pointed out to me that this relation decrease isn't because they're attacking me and then they're upset at me no it's because they attacked me and i'm upset at them for attacking me right of course it's a two-way street relations and for some reason i'd like completely ignored that possibility i guess this one of the battalions was taken prisoner by forest bandits boo hoo poor him we've got 640 defenders over here 648 650 we outnumber them it shouldn't be a problem we can maintain our cohesion we've got enough influence 
our siege equipment will do a fair bit of damage. I think what we'll do is we'll try and bring them down to about 500. If we can bring them down to 300 or so, I'll be very happy. But I'll be comfy with like 500 or so as well. Let's go for it. Ooh. Sanaya. Can I speak to you? No, Oros is the one that needs speaking to there. Fair enough. Over Jelmaris. Again, we're massive in our strength. And Theric. Why are you... Oh, these. this is the... Uh, this is not Western Empire. This is the uh, Company of the Golden Boar, right? Mina of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner by Udris. Okay, fair enough. Good work. There's Darim as well. And Darim, you are of the Gilman. How many more mercenaries do I need? The thing about having mercenaries is that having them prevents the enemy from having them, right? Which became a crucial conversation with uh, with a Kuzaint. But no, we're okay. Besiege the town. We'll focus on our aggression here now. I think we've done well to strengthen ourselves. Besiege the town. Go ahead and establish the Trebs right off the bat. There we go. I'm gonna get our battering ram and we'll establish the siege towers as well. Should push come to shove. Get to work over here. The Skolder Brotva have been contracted to fight alongside the Western Empire. There it is. See, it's starting. They they realize the uh, situation they're in. Southern Empire and the Asari have made peace. We got the at war. Uh, Tyriatus of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner by Sven. Okay, good stuff. Glad I left Sven on his to his like to his own devices. We're healing up over here. Calatild is still going towards. They're Senion. I keep trying to like remember some of these names. They're Senion. They safe up there, I guess. Not much else for me to say. Yeah, these guys are in trouble. These guys are in trouble. Crabs are getting built. I just hope their engineering is able to keep up. So that we're able to uh, keep the damage going. They actually have 24 days worth of food. We have 36 days worth of food for our entire army. The Lake Rats have been contracted to fight alongside the Western Empire. I mean, again, the Banu Kild has, has joined. Oh. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. Banu Kild. Wow. She used to serve the, uh, the Asari. We've been trying to, we, I think we tried to convince her a couple of times, no luck. But now the Western Empire has, uh, Lycaeron as well. Because of the war that's happening right now. But look at it, this clan is almost done. Can you imagine? Thais, Usair, Hakan, these are all names that we're so familiar with. Now, now it's almost gone. Wild. Absolutely wild. Ragged of the Wolfskins of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by Saratus of the Western Empire. That's fine by me. The sank is under attack by the... Goddamn. Mercenaries can turn wars. Mercenaries can turn wars. We have to be very careful here. Mercenaries turned the war against the Kuzate. Let's not forget, right? They were integral. Raiding near Chorus. That's not what I need you to do. <laughs> Take a city or something. Lorik of the Lake Rats of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner by Udris. Good stuff. Mercenary versus mercenary violence there. Now we're still okay over here. New onwards, carry on. Healing up still, good, good, good. They were about 650 or so strong, so it's not a not a small number. Like they could take on this uh, castle here. They would take some losses, unfortunately, but they could take it on. Vipon of the Western Empire today, also the Western Empire captured as well. Good stuff. Get these trebs out now. Start causing some trouble over here, huh? Let's do it. 648 is the number. See what we get. Come on now. There we go. Six forty-seven already. Good stuff, good stuff. Added six forty-five. Forty-four. Good stuff. Sorrow of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner. And we're doing well. I think we're doing quite well here. Eleven prisoners. We receive a hefty sum if we uh, push for peace. No support for it though. There's still momentum with us. There's still momentum with us. What kind of armies are we looking at? You know, what kind of, like, opposition are we looking at at this stage? Especially after having taken care of that massive army right off the bat. Down to 640. I mean, it'll take some time to get them down to, like, 300 or anything. Especially without starvation. Or any of that kind of stuff helping us. We are 1100 strong. I wish I could just offer them a surrender. Katagan of the Wolfskins of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by Ruma of the Western Empire. That's so funny to read. Unfortunate, obviously, because of the Ishkas, but uh, but just Ruma is now serving them. God, 
Always serving my enemy. Come on, Ruma. We should be on the same side of this war. And every war. Meanwhile, Sanayan over here is just stuck. Recruiting constantly. Not able to leave. Monchug. Having a little bit of uh, adjustment going on. Nothing for us to worry about. Alright, cool. One of our trebs will collapse soon, I think. Ish. Good stuff, good stuff. Down to 635. Oh, I don't know how much patience I have to just, like, stand and watch. Raiding Dred Radius. I feel like they're not strong enough. Like, they're not numerous enough to, uh... To attack anything with this in, in a siege. And that's why they're not doing it. I think Ox Hall is just so weak that the AI was able to outnumber it and overwhelm it. Well, that's very unfortunate, folks, but the game crashed. And fortunately, we have autosaves that we can rely on, but the last autosave brings us all the way back to Ortizia. Um, man, that's really unfortunate. I mean, I'm glad at least that there were no, you know, major events or incidents that we're going to miss out on. The concern, I suppose, that I have is that uh, things like this, certain things will have slightly different variables and it will change the course of history as we know it as I now chase after these guys in this circle. Okay, I mean, at least they've stopped over here. That means as they step out, I might be able to catch them. Come on now. Uh, so not only that, I was initially going to say that these, like, these events will be different as well. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's really unfortunate. I mean, I guess I could have cut out the original set of incidents now that I think about it, but I think, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep it in. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about it like a premonition or something. Why not? But let's not spend too much time on that conversation. Go to the keep. Speak with Katagan of the Wolfskins. Quick talk, please. I would like you to serve me as mercenary. That's fair. Join us. I'm a sleeve now. Do your own thing. Uh, since we're back here, we we're forced back here. I just figured I'd check. Go ahead and leave. That's really a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Let's move on over to Arpatis. And then we'll make our way to Jelmaris. As long as nothing major changes down over here, as long as there isn't a sudden and huge difference in how, you know, things play out, uh, it's it's fine. Oh, it's not like we have much of an option, really. Oh, hello, Nadea of the Western Empire. So we'll, we'll leave the cleanup to others. We're going to we're gonna stick to our original course. We're not going to change anything, at least until the uh, Siege of Jelmaris begins. At least that way I can stay true to uh, recreating the... the uh, the past and <laughs> the premonition as best as possible. Mina of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner by Lek of the Ashkas. Fair enough. Lek is marching around with a massive army. And see, like, I, I think we don't know where those armies are. Now. Anyway, whatever. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I should, I should stop thinking about what happened in, in that alternate timeline. I should stay focused on what we're doing in this one. 648 defenders. Yep, good stuff. Besiege the town. Go ahead and establish these trebs. That's really unfortunate. I'm not sure what caused the game to crash. That was the first time I think I've ever seen the game crash, actually. Tadios of the Western Empire and Turiatos of the Western Empire both have been taken prisoner by various people. Good stuff. But yeah, I think that's the first time I've had the game crash on me. Ever. <laughs> ever. Which is commendable, considering it is an early access, but... Uh, Unfortunately, it puts us in this situation now, where we once more must wait for the uh, garrison at uh, Jelmaris to dwindle. I was really hoping that putting a settlement under siege would trigger an autosave. When I was loading back in, I was like, oh, please tell me that we're at least in the middle of the siege, but no. Alaria the Valandians has been taken prisoner. I don't quite care for the Valandians. Nadea, Seranor, yeah, see. Our... our Various parties are capable enough of uh, taking care of some raiding bands and whatnot. Good stuff. Cohesion's back up. Glad I noticed that. We're good, we're good. This is almost done. Go ahead and move to reserve. Last one. This time around, they built ballista as opposed to uh, catapults. Ballista as opposed to catapults. Saratus of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner. Good stuff. Okay, you're out, move to reserve, let their shots come out, and then establish all of you. I want to check really quickly. Nine prisoners, we need two more to match what we had, right? Because we were at 11. Oh, look at that, though. 
Look at that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's amazing. Tempting, but no one supports it, and we haven't yet made any progress in this war, so to speak. Get to work over here. Get to work over here. 648. Epis has escaped from Ortizia. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. That's good. I'll give you an opportunity to speak to him. There's... Didn't, didn't Vipon get captured as well? Now I can't remember if it was here or in an alternate timeline. <laughs> There's Theros. I read that as Thanos. Thinking about alternate timelines and all that. Down to 643. Sora of the Western Empire has been taken prisoner. Good stuff. That's what, number 10, right? <laughs> Monchug redistributing some stuff again. Fair enough. Good work over here. They've got their catapults out now. One of my trebs is going to die. There it is. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're okay. Down to 635. Good stuff. Nothing to worry about yet. This thing's almost done. Beautiful. Keep working away at it. These walls will soon collapse. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have the... What was that? Southern Empire and the Asteroid have made peace. Okay. Fair enough. I was, I was going to say, I don't think I have the patience to wait until their numbers are dwindled too much before I charge on in. It's most... Actually, you know what? The garrison and the militia are somewhat evenly balanced here. 14 days worth of food. I wonder. I wonder. How much patience I have, is what I'm wondering. Add some more cohesion over here. The work going, that these walls will crack soon. It's like they're so slow to build these uh, ballista and stuff, you know? And so we're so slow to dwindle their numbers. Doing okay though. 627. We'll bring them down to like the 500s at least. Oh, I should have built another trebuchet here. Did not realize that we'd lost that one. So distracted by uh, our circumstances. Two going as well. This one will drop too. Uh, looks like they're focusing on this one instead. Fair enough. One set of walls have cracked. Another set soon as well. We might want to move these guys to reserve. Skold or Brotva have been contracted to fight alongside the Western Empire. We saw that coming. We had a feeling. The premonition. This is almost done. I think I can go forward with just three trebs. I don't think I need to wait till all four are done. Though they have all their ballista now. The Western Empire and the Astra have made peace. Hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. When did... Uh... Look at that. The course of history has changed. Has altered completely. Ruma stays with her Banu killed alongside uh, the asteroid. It's so weird. That's really <laughs> kind of funny, actually. I don't mind. It's not the end of the world. It's just kind of funny. Because in my head, like, I, I basically I build the story as we go forward, right? So in my head, certain events become landmark moments and whatnot. Uh, for something like that to happen um, in the middle of a session for me is just like, I have to, like, hit a full brain reset, basically. Looks like we're good, though, over here. Looks like we're good. It's all done. Stuff down to 620. Eight days worth of food left here. Walls are all gone. Monstruk of the Kuzade have declared war on the Western Empire. Oh, it's on. It's on. The race is on. Oh, damn. Okay, fair enough. 616. Zeochorus is raided by the army led by Calatil. That's not exactly what I need you to do. I still need to capture settlements, please. Now, I'm tempted to attack them now, not only because of my impatience, but also because they have seven days worth of food. So if I take it, we ideally won't have to worry about people starving, right? We outnumber them significantly, but sometimes that's not enough. Obviously, going through bottlenecks and whatnot, that's not enough. 80 Imperial recruits. But look, uh, over 100 Imperial archers. Kind of scary numbers. Kind of scary numbers. Okay, let's knock out that ballista, and then it's, I say we assault. Knock out that ballista. Let's knock out this ballista as well. Oh, I basically don't want them to have any um, siege equipment if we're going to assault. Take a look at our party over here. Some people that might be upgrading. Yes, excellent. Upgrade you, upgrade you. Upgrade you as well. You guys in as well. Good stuff. Lots of prisoners willing to join us. I suppose it would be good training potentially. Sea Raider Warriors. 
I mean, we're definitely going to suffer losses. We're definitely going to suffer losses. I don't have to worry about like, oh no, but what if I go over my limit? Well, we're going to be making room. We're going to be making room. At least this way they get to level up as well. Brigand and the veteran infantrymen as well. Good stuff. Keep the uh, horsemen back. That's fine. All right, good stuff. Yeah, I suspect we'll we'll find that balance. Done here. Yes. Over my limit. That's fine. Check my inventory just to be sure. We've got Valdim. We don't need the lance anymore. We have our sword as well. Trying to figure out... See, I want... That's the thing. It's like I want to do the bow and arrow thing, but I don't have a spot for my quiver. Because I still want a shield. If I need to go sword and board. To keep the lance, I suppose. Could replace it with the glaive. Could replace it with the executioner's axe if I feel it's necessary. You know what? Sure, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Where's my executioner's axe? Jeez, coming through with a lot of questions to axe. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll we'll primarily use the Valdim. Again, the Valdim is less curvaceous, more straight to the point. Right. That's that's how we'll. That's how. And also like. Much, much, much larger. What's the difference in length here? 115 to 135. That's how you tell them apart, right? All right, cool. Done here. Let's uh, dive on in. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I would have liked to reduce their numbers a bit more, but I feel like now that the Kuzade have declared war on them as well... You see, now I can't remember. It's like, that was this timeline, right? That literally did just happen, right? Uh, but now that they have declared war on them as well, it's a bit of a race. We have to make sure that we uh, we win that race. Because if they take more settlements than we do in in the splitting of this Western Empire pie, uh, we'll be in trouble, right? It's, oh, you know what? First. Play first, get rid of this trebuchet back over here. Breached walls, so no towers, of course. Uh, we'll figure out which way we have to push, depending on where we're deployed. Push through, try to take the walls. Gotta take out archers. If we push through, move towards the towers, that will allow us to, uh, well, like towards the central gate, that will allow us to, I think, take care of archers, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's begin. Do it. All right. Come on, men. Ooh, right at the bridge. Fair enough. Way. Handed. This side. Go. Hopefully we'll get the first kill. Always a good omen, right? Yeah, excellent. Oh, that wasn't so smooth. Come on now. <laughs> okay. All right. Got some work done there. And a little bit more. There we go. Flood through. Breach. Excellent. Excellent. Get back around here. I'm wondering if I want to end up on foot or if I just kind of go horseback over here. Look at that. Baldim continues to serve his sultan fantastically. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this line over here. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Trying to prove to me that I'm being a bit too cocky, maybe? Well, doing a somewhat decent job. Go ahead and help this flank out a little bit. Oh, I was hoping that hit would score. Diving off the stairs there, getting a swing in. Right, swing a little too wildly now. We're okay, we're okay. Again, they do have 600 uh, defenders, right? So, no small number. They will be spawning uh, reinforcements, which is that little, like, small lag spike you see from time to time. That's what's going on. Good stuff, good stuff. We have them fully surrounded. We don't stand a chance. Our men are coming through. Yeah, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Look at that top right corner. Look at that top right corner. It is so green. So green. Alright, let's hop off the horse. Gotta make sure we're using you two-handed still. Oh, let that guy go. We're okay, we're okay. I think our work here is done. That was... Oh my god, that was swift. I was expecting... 
I was expecting more trouble, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were gonna take a lot of losses. Uh, we are taking some losses, but not nearly as many as I thought we would. That went quite well. Question is, what next? Where, where, where does the enemy remain? I get a vantage point. Look at that top right corner. It's been green for like 90% of this battle. That is wild. Absolutely wild. People flooding in. Oh, looks like there's some people up there. I'm not going to be able to get there. But there's nobody up there after all. Battle is done. Well done, men. Well done. Look at that. Look at that. That was dope. That was awesome. That was ridiculously cool. All right, let's look at the numbers here real quick. We lost only 28? Are you kidding me? We lost only 28 soldiers? That is nothing. We lost nothing. We were up against 600. Yeah, we outnumbered them 2 to 1, but that tells you how much we outclassed them by. Holy hot damn. All right, I am very pleased. I also want to see uh, how well I did there. 24 kills. That was, that was not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yo, that was great. That was fantastic. I actually, I don't know if I lost enough soldiers to make room for the uh, prisoners that I just lifted from uh, from their cells, from their shackles. Oh man, that's so good. So good. That's so good. All right, cool. Done here. If we can, if we can maintain that, that'd be ridiculous. If we can maintain that, that'd be ridiculous. Oh wow, we. J no, hold on a second. We're still well over our limit. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just redistribute. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Look at all these levels. Look at all these levels. Yes, beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Get you on horseback. Make a larger uh, ranged cavalry contingent. Upgrades all around. Good stuff. Uh, sea Raider Warriors. Get those Drusnik Champions. Sea Raider Chief. There's some Drusnik Champions right there. I wonder if we need more war horses. Nah, just short of it. Okay, we're fine. Polanian swordsman. Let's get some more swordsmen going. I, I do need to... I need, I need to keep myself in check. I really... I enjoy cavalry charges and stuff, but I need to keep myself in check. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Now we got 73 prisoners over here. Any worth picking up? Well, we'll pick them all up because we are at a city so we can dump... Or, sorry, I mean ransom any that we don't actually want or need. Done here. Over our limit, that's fine. Need to remember to check that. Pick up all the loot. Still under our limit here. Excellent. Relations decreased. Yeah, you don't say. Dropping off prisoners, picking up recruits. Fantastic stuff. Delmaris has fallen to your troops. May station a garrison, etc., etc. First things first to the tavern. Recruit these armed traitors. And let's pick prisoners to be ransomed. We've got some tier 5s for sure. Imperial Legionaries, Sergeant Crossbowman, the Botilari, these guys whose names I still can't say, Skulder, Veteran, Brotva, Imperial Cataphract. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's a lot of prisoners. I could dump like the levy, like the lower tier levy crossbows, sure. Um, oh, these guys are tier 5 as well. Dump you. Dump some of these Imperial recruits. Too low tier. The militia. Yeah. Sure, don't need them. They're just slowing us down, you know. They're just slowing us down. That's fine, though. Cool. This is this is this is okay. Yeah, a little bit of money made. Good stuff. Good stuff. Over my limit. I'm well aware. Let's speak to Najin over here. I need to. Hmm. Actually, no. I was gonna give him some of my overflow of troops, but I think instead I should leave a uh, garrison behind. Might not be a bad idea to have a, a garrison left behind over here, right? Uh, so who do we leave behind? What do we leave behind? Some Imperial Armed Traders. Yes, that's why I picked them up. Imperial Infantrymen. Clan Warrior. Militia Archers. Levy Crossbowmen. That's 31. Again, this city, I intend to give it to somebody else. I'm not going to hold on to it. There are still unlanded clans that serve us. So they're obviously going to be getting upset if we... Uh, keep hogging you know these cities and stuff we'll see whose name comes up and we'll decide accordingly but also beyond that it's also a matter of ensuring that somebody at least is able to um strengthen the garrison and whatnot over here is able to get some work done if we take a look at the town over here secure wow that's the first time i've seen security be low interesting food is dropping partially probably our fault that 
Train militia. Oh, that drops loyalty? Interesting. Because of the looted villages and the cultural difference here. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I feel like some of this stuff is finally being integrated. Alright, okay, well that's interesting. But we'll train the militia here, get that garrison strengthened up as soon as possible. And they do still have some food, thanks to us leaving some food before we attacked, right? Uh, we did that. Cool, Jilmaris is ours. Calatild all the way down over here, what are you up to? Raiding Zikoris. So now the question becomes, do we move up towards Legeta and Rote, or come down towards Zionica and push towards Poros, as was our initial plan? See, the Kuzate are probably making a move towards Amitatis or Poros themselves. We have to be very wary of that, because if we want to establish a forward operating base, if we want to establish a bastion, we want to make sure we do it before the Kuzate take that territory. Because again, what happens if... I give Jelmaris to somebody else, confident that I can take Poros. I give Zionica to somebody else, confident that I can take Poros. And then I move towards Poros, and then it falls to the Kuzate. Okay, fine, I'll go up to Amitatis. Oh no, the Kuzate have put it under siege first. Now I've lost a forward operating base opportunity, right? I have to be very careful about that as I move forward with this war. Do we skip past Zionica over here and rush to Poros first to establish that stronghold? To establish that, uh, you know, point from which we can sally forth and attack all of our enemies from all directions or do we play it sort of more cautiously take zionica perhaps even take legeta before getting too aggressive if we take a look at the state of the war there is still no support for peace however that tribute is still looking quite good uh, and i'm really quite pleased with how that went really quite pleased with uh, with how that went the Western Empire took something from me, and so I have taken something from them. An eye for an eye, as they say. Hopefully the, uh... Hopefully we stick to... Hammurabi, and next session doesn't have us graduating from Hammurabi to Gandhi, in terms of quotes. Uh... Because that would be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session, but this is where we're going to call it. I'm glad we got that battle in. I'm glad we got to see Valdim in action once more. Like that was some that was that felt that felt good. That felt really good. Definitely how we might want to tackle um sieges moving forward. Now, granted, Jalmaris worked out nicely because there was a lot of room for us to ride. Uh, but failing that, we could have always switched to our executioner's axe, which is our close range axe. I'm liking this. I'm liking this combination a lot. Folks, again, if you enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Share your thoughts. Let me know how you feel. Um, but apart from that, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, from the newly conquered Jomaris. I bid you farewell.